psychopath and van attacks Trump's motorcade but look what cops find when they try to stop him. It's been almost a full year since Donald Trump was elected as our president and the lunatic left collectively lost their minds. That rage of disappointment inside them has been festering ever since, as they cannot accept the defeat and move on with life. In fact, the hate and anger have consumed many of them to such an extent that it's driving them to extremes to seek vengeance for their loss, which they literally feel justified in no matter how horrific. What just happened to Trump's motorcade is one of those cases that even left officers stunned after what they found when they tried to intervene on his twisted plan. Earlier this week, Trump's motorcade was returning to Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort after he had gone golfing with Tiger Woods. While the motorcade was on their way back, they experienced a bit of road rage from a man driving a red van. The driver tried to cut in between vehicles in the motorcade, but that wasn't happening. He was stopped and arrested by local police. The driver, as bitter as he was, then made numerous obscene gestures and screamed multiple expletives like a crazy person, despite being the driver to intentionally cut off a presidential motorcade. This should be alarming to everyone but the mainstream media is ignoring the incident altogether simply because they justify such a reaction because it's toward Trump. Somehow, it's become acceptable for grown adults to act this way in public and toward our president. This person doesn't belong behind the wheel, he should be institutionalized for being so out of control with his emotions that he's willing to put America's leader's life in danger and even risk his own in the process of his apparent martyrdom for his cause. Barack Obama was president for eight years and people didn't flinch or bat an eye. Sure, people criticized him. But most Republicans and critics of Obama carried on with their life because not much changed for them on a daily basis. Well, you know, maybe we could come up with a list of things Obama did that no one liked. I believe that starts with healthcare and allowing men in the women's room, but that's another topic for another day. Let's watch the video coverage of the incident with the man in the van who could have had an explosive in his car and the situation had to be dealt with on that assumption. BizPack Review reports. An angry driver tried to cut into President Trump's motorcade and made obscene gestures after being pulled over by police. The scene unfolded Saturday as Trump was returning to Mar-a-Lago Resort in Palm Beach, Florida, after a round of golf. The incident is reminiscent of a similar episode earlier this month when a cyclist stalked Trump's motorcade and flipped the bird at the president. The latest incident underscores just how much extra work anti-Trumpers cause for the U.S. Secret Service and local police whenever the president goes anywhere. While Trump haters gleefully celebrate such confrontations, keep in mind that taxpayers foot the bill for all that extra security. A man in a red van attempted to cut into the motorcade. Local law enforcement pulled over the vehicle, where the driver made obscene gestures and screamed several expletives, according to a White House rule report. Is that any way to treat a president? Even if you don't like the president, you still can't cut into the motorcade and expect to get away with it. That's just common sense and a level of respect that Americans should have, regardless of who is in office. If Hillary Clinton was president and she drove down my street, I wouldn't cut her off. I'd be arrested and it's not worth it no matter how much I feel she should be arrested. The people who risk getting arrested to do silly gestures like this need a lot of mental help that perhaps should be covered by Obamacare. Instead of living with all this pent-up anger toward the president, these deranged individuals need to relax and realize things are going very well right now for most of America thanks to Trump. Trump is doing a fine job. If his tax reform gets fixed then we will all be happy. Let's be honest folks, the GOP tax reform could be a bad choice towards middle-class married couples earning over $100,000 per family, which is not a lot if the family has kids. Many Americans fall into that category and they might get hit with a tax raise. Again, that's another topic for another day. You can research that on your own and make your own decision. The point is that Trump's doing well regardless of what the liberal. Democrat media tell you. They're so angry they can't even enjoy the fruits of the American labor. Or maybe they do because tax-paying middle-class citizens are constantly footing the bill for the welfare recipients and the socialists begging for freebies.
do anti-Trumpers realize that every time they do something absurd towards the president, that there might be a need for increased presidential security? Who pays for that? The taxpayers do. So in theory, every time a never-Trumper pulls an act of stupidity, it could essentially cost taxpayers money. Is that any way to treat your fellow Americans? Do they care? Some of them don't have jobs, so maybe they're not paying taxes anyway. Maybe they should grow up. Stop being so angry, and enjoy this wonderful country like the rest of us. Of us.